Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here coming off of a very sun-filled uh, weekend out there. I got a little bit too much sun out there at the Husker game on Saturday, but hey, not going to be a whole lot of sun this week. Today, probably the best chance for the most sunshine and the warmest conditions out there. So we got some big changes on the way here. As we take a look at our future cast, a cold front already making its way southward. Won't have major impacts on our weather for today other than shifting the wind. There will be some clouds and a few showers up in northern parts of Nebraska. And those clouds start to make their way southward later on in the day. They'll fill in through the rest of the area overnight tonight. We'll have better chances of showers and isolated thunderstorms as we progress through the overnight hours tonight. Pockets of heavy rain, but mostly going to be some light to moderate rainfall in places out there. As we head into tomorrow, still a chance of some showers throughout the day. The best chance would be in the western parts of the viewing area. A uh, little bit of better chance, maybe a little bit of sun out towards the east here. But most places will be much cooler as temperatures will mostly be in the 60s for highs as we go through your Tuesday. Looking at your temps for today, well, we could already see 60s up in northern Nebraska, O'Neill and Ainsworth, otherwise 70s elsewhere there in the northern part of the viewing area with, a, again, some clouds around and even some isolated thunder showers. To the west, a little more sunshine, upper 70s, low to mid 80s. Look at northern Kansas, near 90 degrees later on today, uh, lower 80s around the Tri-Cities, mostly sunny skies. To the east, we're looking at temperatures that will top out uh, in the upper 70s around Columbus, otherwise low to mid 80s elsewhere. Looking at your extended forecast after today, it's going to be very fall-like temperature-wise out there, 60s the next three days with a couple of off and on chances of showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder from time to time. Not concerned about severe weather though. As we get towards the end of the week, Friday and Saturday, we actually have an upper level low pressure system out in the Rockies and that's going to bring in a pretty good chance of rain in the western part of the state and what could be nearly about a 50-50 chance of rain here for Friday and Saturday. But with those additional clouds around, could even be a little cooler yet. We're looking at highs only in the 50s on Friday and Saturday. That system clears out by Saturday night and it looks like by Sunday, dry air conditions hopefully back into the lower 60s. The the good news is with all the clouds around, we're not going to see a dramatic like cold uh, overnight or early morning out there. So the good news is no worry at this point at least about any frost or freezing conditions as we head through the upcoming seven days. So there you go as we transition from late September into early October. Fall's definitely going to try to make an appearance out there in uh, the warm conditions of the last several days. Well, after today, we can pretty much say goodbye that, to that for at least uh, the next week ahead. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Monday.